What's going on guys, No Slack Novak here with another episode of Motorsport Manager. If you tuned into the last one, you guys know that I came back from a long, long absence. And this is the race that I've been looking forward to pretty much ever since we got promoted uh, into the Asia Pacific Super Cup. We are going to be racing in Phoenix. Let me go ahead and find that here real quick. Calendar, Phoenix, as you can see. It is an interesting oval, basically an oval shape, uh, more of a, like a NASCAR uh, layout than anything else, and I've never really done that, so uh, looking really forward to uh, seeing how we kind of perform out here. Um, we don't have to do refueling, only thing we're really going to have to worry about is going to be the pit stops, and we've got 43 laps uh, on this race, so I mean typically we have to stop twice for pit stops, right? We know that some teams haven't really had to do the two pit stops if they run on the uh, like mediums or soft tires or whatever Then they can actually make it um, with only doing the one pit stop which our tire wear is not that good So I don't think we're gonna be able to do that, but you know what? Let's uh, let's advance Our car is all good um, as far as reliability, we should be pretty solid. Uh, but again, like I said last episode, I want to focus a little bit more on the actual performance. I want to get these parts uh, as high as they can be. Uh, speaking of, let's see, that'll be eight days after the race. There's no way we can do it to where they're going to be um, maxed out before the race. Now, with the track being like no turns, no anything like that, I think the engines are going to be super important. Now those are specs, so they're all going to be the same. Um, brakes, I don't think are going to really be all that important here. Um, gearbox could very well be important, but those are already maxed out performance-wise. Um, let's see, what else is going to be super important here in Phoenix? Uh, track info, fuel burn is medium, tire wear is low, laps, top speed is crucial, which like I said, we have the, uh, the stock engines. And then we're going to need to worry about high speed corners and acceleration. So we want to, um, the, the, the rear spoiler and the gearboxes are what we want to work on. So let's check that out real quick. Rear wing. Let's go ahead. Let's work on both of those. And then we will throw away the, let's throw away that one. And then let's throw in this other rear wing. And you know what? We are going to just try to focus primarily on that. Um, speaking of, you know what, let's actually get rid of the brakes too, and that'll be two hours after the race. Oh man, I'm kind of tempted, you know, let's get rid of that one too, and the gearboxes are going to be important, those are already there, seven days before, okay, let's do this, let's advance a little bit, we can do something like this maybe. Um, yeah, we'll do that. We'll advance and then once that gets closer to being done Then we can actually kind of add some more things in there, but uh, I want those rear spoilers to be um, Done Okay, there's gonna be some kind of vote. Let's check out the car again. I want to make sure that this is all nice and dandy Okay, so those are done beautiful All right, what can we improve now? Let's go ahead again. So the engine is good the rear wings are all good. The performance, we can't get any better performance than we already have. Gearboxes are good. Um, let's throw in... Can improve the performance there. We can improve the performance on the brakes here. Uh, we should probably do the front wing over here, which is going to be for Jamie, right? And then, let's see. Let's do the suspensions for both as well. And then again, we're just going to keep focusing on that. Now that's going to be 19 days after. You know what, that's fine. We'll just do uh, something like this. Uh, that should get all of these up into the 90s at least, which uh, one of these parts is already there, but we should be good. Let's go ahead and continue on. Performance work, all that stuff is good. Excellent. Now we don't care too much about the World Motorsport Championships or the, uh, the European Racing Series. We just care about ourselves. Okay, how many days? Three days until the race. Um, and you know what? Here, hold on. Pit crew, how are we looking? We definitely need to swap you out. Now, you're on tires, and your tires are 15, so you're pretty good there. Now, I'm feeling these uh, these two, not very good at tires. Not very good at tires at all, so I think we should definitely try to hire two more people. Uh, hire. 
Yep, I know. I know we're I know we're wasting money, but this is something we need. We absolutely cannot go into the race with uh, the two pit crew men that can't do tires. So we're gonna swap you out right here. Uh, we're gonna swap you out with Jensen. And now, for the most part, our pit crew should be pretty solid. You are going to be working on the front jack, which you're 16. Excellent. You're going to be working on the rear jack, which... Ah, uh, man, but you know what? We can actually swap you two. Right? So, rear jack, excellent. Tires, 15, 12, 15, 15. That is great. These, are, these guys are going to be in recovery. Um, let's see. You're actually a 13. Yeah, you know what? So, we're going to swap you and you... And now we're good. Stamina is fine for everybody. Allen over here, S. Allen, a little low, but you know what? We'll be fine. We will be fine. What is this politics vote? Mm, a new vote has begun. Remove bonus points for the driver in pole position. I don't think I like that. This rule will benefit no slack racing. Yeah, but you know, I don't think... No bonus points are awarded to the driver who is fastest in qualifying, reserving any points movement until race day. Um, you know what? I mean, we do get top spot in qualifying a decent amount, I feel like. Uh, and we do have, we have three voting power. Wow. I feel like I'm just going to do my one vote. Uh, let's see. No bonus points. You know what? I'm going to vote against. I'm just going to use my one point. Because I don't care about it all that much. But um, we're going to keep it. We're uh, we're going to use our vote. We're not going to try to accumulate another vote. Pretty close here. 4-4. Four, four against. One to go. Mueller. So it's 5-5. Five, five, and then uh, against. Okay. So it got rejected. Which, uh, that's good. That's what we wanted. We wanted to get rejected. Right? <laughs> okay. Alright, I just want to do this race. Traveling to Phoenix. Alright, cool. Mm, here we go with the sponsor again. You know what? I feel like if, uh, if Jamie hadn't had that little accident going into the first turn, he would have been fine. And then Laura did actually pretty dang decent. Um, Laura did pretty dang decent just kind of had some like pit issues I think we're gonna go with fourth and above again part fitting let's just make sure I, I really like triple check and making sure everybody's got the, the you know the most legit uh, setup here now Jamie is absolutely not happy with his setup and I completely understand why um, let's see we're gonna still stick with Laura just because Laura didn't crash going into that first turn uh, in the last race so that's all good this is all the same here. Front wing, Laura's got the better one. He's got the more reliable one. We're looking good here. Uh, looking fine here. Mm, you know what? The rear wing, we're going to go ahead. We're going to give it to Laura. A little bit better. A little bit better wing there. And we're good there. Excellent. Let's go ahead and continue on. All right. This is going to be interesting, guys. I will see you guys after the practice session just before we kick off the race in Phoenix. So we ended up getting really good results in the practice session. Um, we had Laura finished first, Jamie finished second overall in the uh, the qualifying. Now with that vote, I'm pretty sure we still get a little bit of a bonus, not because it isn't the next season, uh, but overall we did very, very, very well. Now we're gonna go with I think let's see fast pit stops. You know the pit stops I think are gonna be super. Should we do? Uh, you know what? We're gonna do the soft tire, and we're gonna do the race trim bonus there. With uh, Jamie over here, we're gonna probably do the same thing. Remove the red zones. You know, we're gonna do the uh, soft tires and the race trim there as well. Now, car setups we actually got pretty dang well. Laura over here is excellent on everything, and then Jamie is only uh, off a little bit on the top speed. I couldn't really get that to where I wanted it, but uh, you know what? I'll take both of these uh, without a doubt. Um, what I want to do is uh, we're gonna save this. Come on. Okay, we'll just do it the long way. Uh, Laura, this is going to be Phoenix. Uh, we'll just do Phoenix. And I think this is what, like layout B or something? Bam. 
Uh, we're gonna use that. Let's see, tire choice. Now it is 43 laps. These hard tires are gonna make it about 18 to 20 laps. Um, I kind of feel like we want to start off with a soft, just to kind of get like a nice little advantage. Um, I don't know, this is going to be interesting. Uh, 43 laps, we wouldn't be able to make it with just the hards, like two sets of hards. That's not going to happen. Um, plus the speed on those is absolutely horrible. Now, do we want the speed boost now? Or... Do we want the speed boost now or after the last few laps? You know, I think we're going to want it at the start. We're going to go with the uh, the softs. And then, of, of course, we've got the 43 laps worth of fuel. So we're going to go with that. Now here we're going to stick to um, the setup that we have over here for Jamie. And we're going to make this Phoenix B again. And I should really, uh, what is this, like 97 yeah, 97%. Okay. Tire choice. Now, you know what? With Jamie, I think we're going to go a little bit of a different route. These are going to make it 8 to 10 laps. Um, I feel like let's go with the 12 to 14 over here. 12 to 14. Uh, 43 laps worth of fuel. Driver strategy. We are going to come out hot and heavy. We want to start overtaking and uh, passing people up as soon as possible. And I did do a little bit of weight stripping. Nothing too crazy. Uh, but you know what? I think we'll be good. I think we will be good. Now, we're not starting 1 and 2 because of the, um, uh, the rules that we have set forth. But we are 13th and 16th. Not the best. Not the best. But, uh, this, oh man, this is gonna be exciting. Look at that. Just a, just a pure oval. Just a pure oval. You know what? Let's kind of zoom in a little bit. Kind of see this, uh, little battling for position here. Now we are on one speed and we do have to watch out for the tire temperatures because uh, yeah, they're, they're gonna go pretty quickly, especially with us on the uh, the overtake and everything. Uh, let's see, we've, we're moving up pretty nicely, look at that 11th and 12th right now. Uh, there's a few teams out there running the hard tires, we're 8th and 11th now, beautiful, beautiful. Laura's in 7th, moving up to 6th, she's doing excellent. Love to see that. Laura's in fourth now. Jamie's in eighth, ninth, eighth. All right, we can actually probably slow down a little bit. We're gonna go down to neutral and medium for both drivers. We don't want to wear their tires out too much. Ah, uh, this is gonna be interesting. This is gonna be a very interesting race. Fourth and eighth right now for Laura and Jamie, respectively. Ah, uh, tire temperatures are looking fine. Tire wear. Uh, a little bit iffy already there for Laura, right? Because she's running on those softs, but that's expected. Uh, come on, guys. Let's speed it up just a little bit. Laura, let's... Can you overtake? As you can see, the top six drivers are all running on the soft tires. So we kind of want to um, babysit our tires and pit when the when the rest of those guys are all pitting. Uh, Laura's still in fourth, kind of battling there for third. Jamie's dropping down all the way to twelfth. Oh, come on, Jamie. Keep it up. Keep up, buddy. Uh, and as you can see, too, pretty much the bottom seven drivers are all running on either mediums or the hard tires. But they're going more for distance. Um, they're wanting to not pit as much. Uh, look at that. Laura's in third now. That's beautiful. Jamie's still in 12th, though. That's a little disappointing. You know what I think we're going to do? We're actually going to cut back a little bit on Laura's driving style just so that we can maybe save those tires another lap or two. Yeah, she's going to lose a little bit of positioning, but you know what? Um, for the most part, that positioning did help us out because she started, what, like 12th or something? She's going down. She's in 7th now. And we're going to have to have her pit here. Uh, Jamie's in 13th. He's at 50% on his tires. Fuel-wise, we're fine. Temperature-wise, we could probably go down a little bit more on Jamie, but you know what? We're not going to. We're going to leave that right where it is. Laura's dropped down all the way to 9th, and that's because of our tire strategy. Um, let's go ahead. Let's actually bump that back up to neutral. Let's see if that does anything for her. I don't think it will. Uh, we are gonna have her pit now, and what, what should we give her? We have 35 laps remaining. If we do the two sets of hard, uh, if we do two sets of hard, I think that should be fine. 
18, 36 with 35. You know what? Let's go with the hards. Park condition is looking fine. Pit strategy, we're going to go with uh, balanced. Uh, yes, we're going to go with balanced. Let's go ahead and schedule that. And then for Jamie, he's actually going to be able to stay out there for another lap or two. There you go. Jamie's doing a little bit of catching up, huh? Tenth now. Beautiful, beautiful. Actually passing up his teammate. Jamie's in seventh. Now, let's see. No issues with the pit stop there. That's excellent. Really happy to see that. Now, Jamie is going to have to pit. He is in sixth. Um, let's see now. He is approaching pit lane. We're actually going to have him pass it up, and now we're going to schedule him for the pit stop. Now, let's see. With 33 laps remaining, uh, that's going to make it 17. Uh, that's going to be super close. Um, I think we're going to have to go with another set of hards right there. And we're going to go with a balanced pit stop. And hopefully, uh, hopefully this will be good. Good strategy going on here. Laura's in 17th. Jamie's in 3rd now, but he is going to have to pit. Let's actually kind of babysit his pit stop here. Um, okay, let's see. No issues whatsoever. He went in, I think, 3rd, and he's leaving 15th. So that's a little disappointing, but you know what? Lots of catching up left to be done here. Fuel-wise, we're looking good. Tire temperature-wise, we're looking good. Tire wear is all good, so we can actually just keep it going slow and steady here. Oh, this is going to be interesting. This is going to be interesting. I'm feeling like we're just going to have to run um, another set of hards. We're going to have to pit and then give both of them another set of hards. But uh, we'll see here. We'll see. So Laura's in 12th. Jamie's in 13th. We can kind of zoom out a little bit, get a little bit more of a picture of uh, who's behind, who's in front. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's go over here to Laura. She's doing a little bit of moves. She's in 10th now. Now, ninth place driver is Moriai, also running the hard tire, so hopefully Laura is going to be able to pass him up. Or get passed up, either one, you know. Come on, Laura. Tire temperature is looking fine, fuel is looking fine. Should be good. 12th and 13th still. Drivers are pitting, so we moved up to 11th and 12th. 10th. 10th now for Laura. Beautiful, beautiful. Tire temperatures, still good. Tire wear, still good. Fuel is definitely good. 8th and 10th now for Laura and Jamie, respectively. Beautiful. And I hope you guys noticed, too, if you watched the last video, we don't have that stuttering going on anymore. Kind of figured out how to do that. I've actually managed to overclock my CPU. First time I've ever done that. But I don't think that was the issue. The issue is with, uh, I think I had the wrong HDMI cable plugged into the wrong port. Um, but anyways, that's all good, fine and dandy. Ninth and twelfth now for Laura and Jamie. Tire temperatures are still, you know, they're, they're a little bit there in the red, but I think we're fine. 46% for Laura, 53% for, uh, for Jamie, 23 laps remaining. We want to try to make these last as much as possible um, because we don't want to, uh, we don't want to pit more than we have to. Now, still 9th and 12th, 22 laps remaining, Laura's losing positioning, kind of curious, I mean, if we ran the mediums, we would be able to kind of do a little bit of catching up, Vidal is up there in first place, he's running the hards, but Vidal is going to have to pit eventually, it's just a matter of, we're not going to be able to outlast Vidal, Costa is pitting, uh, so we're now in 8th, 7th and 11th, 7th and 10th now, beautiful, beautiful, doing a little bit of catching up, uh oh, okay, so tire temperatures, let me pause this real quick, tire temperatures are a little hot, Laura I think is gonna have to pit, and I think we've kind of put ourselves in a position where she has about 18 laps to go, ah oh, man, she has about 18 laps to go, Uh, she's going to have to run the hards, and she's probably going to have to slow down. Either that, or we're just going to have to pit twice. You know what? Let's do this. Let's let's take a gamble. We're going to pit, and we're going to try to go for the softs. Park conditions, uh, the rear spoiler is a little iffy. Pit strategy, we're going to go with balanced. Let's go ahead and do that. This is going to be a little bit of a uh, risk that we're going to take here, but you know what? We're going to hope for a really good pit stop. 
Good, 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 good. Okay, get out of there. She's got the good tires. She's got the soft tires. So hopefully she'll be able to do uh, a little bit of catching up with those tires now. And then Jamie over here. Let's babysit him a little bit. Um, what we're going to do with Jamie is we're actually going to have him pit. We're going to give him the medium tires. Parts are looking okay. A little iffy there. Pit strategy. Yep, yep, yep. All right. I really want to focus on Laura, though, because she's got those soft tires right now. Jamie is going in there. He did have a little bit of an issue with the rear jack, but for the most part, I think he's okay. So Laura is really the only driver right now running on the softs. She's going to have to pit again. Without a doubt, she's going to have to pit again. But hopefully, uh, she's going to be able to make up some ground here. I feel like a few other guys are still going to have to pit. So if she can make up enough ground on these tires, she should be okay. Uh, Laura's in 11th. Jamie's in 17th. Tire temperatures, all that stuff is fine. Laura, come on, Laura, catch up. We're actually going to put you in a push and high. So you can do a little bit more overtaking right now. Come on, Laura. 14 laps remaining. You've got about three, four more laps left on those tires. Go, 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 go. Eighth place for Laura. Beautiful, beautiful. Come on, Laura. Keep catching up. Keep catching up. And I don't think Laura is going to have another set. I don't think she has another set of those soft tires, which is unfortunate. But, you know what? This is what we're going to do. Attack and overtake for now. Actually, I don't think we're going to go to overtake on the engine mode. Okay, we're going to have to have her pit. She does not have another set of softs, uh, but she does have the mediums, and those are actually going to be perfect. 12 laps remaining. These are going to go 13 to 15 laps. I think we're going to be perfect right there. Um, okay, let's do this. Hopefully, this works out for the best. She's in fourth. Hopefully, she's not in there too long. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get out, get out, get out, get out. 13th okay not horrible um, we're gonna go to push and we're gonna go down to medium on the gas Jamie is uh, not gonna have to pit here but you know what? we could go to high for engine mode kind of battling out between themselves right there Laura's in 11th Jamie's in 13th come on Laura you're running on mediums you should be able to pass up everybody that's running on those hard tires hopefully that's the plan at least for me all right, she's an eighth now. That's not bad. We want to get into that sponsor's objective. That's the key. Um, we should probably lower her on the driving style. And then Jamie over here is going to have to pit very soon. Uh, you know what? We're actually going to have him pit now. Actually, we have, yeah, yeah, we're going to give him the softs now. Looking good there. Pit strategy is going to be balanced. We're going to give him the softs. Hopefully his pit goes pretty well. Larson had to pit, so that's good. Jamie is... Come on, good pit stop, good pit stop. All right, excellent. Um, we're going to have him just run all the way. Come on, push and overtake. Laura's still in eighth. She kind of dropped down a little bit there, huh? 60% on the tires. We could probably push her a little bit more. Come on, Laura. Seventh place now, excellent. Okay, let's slow down a little bit and let's zoom out too so we can get a little bit of a clearer picture. So tires are overheating pretty much for both drivers. Not so much for Jamie as they are for Laura, but you know what? Laura only has four laps to go. Uh, you know what? Maybe we should we should probably lower that. No, you know what? I think we're going to be fine. Uh, Fuel-wise, we are okay. Uh, kind of have to babysit this over here just a little bit. You know what? Let's go on medium. Um, Jamie is definitely going to be fine with his tires. Let's speed it up just a little bit. She's in seventh. Let's see. Is she going to be able to overtake sixth place Parisi? Um, come on. Uh, you know what? I don't think she's going to be able to get there into that sponsor's objective. They're just too far ahead. They're about 11 seconds ahead of Laura. That's uh, that's a little a uh, little upsetting there, but you know what? Nothing we can really do about it now. She's at oh, she's gonna have to go down to neutral on that. 
Cool. Alright, fifth place for Laura, and she is still, she's nine seconds behind the fourth place driver, so I don't think she's going to be able to do any kind of catching up. Fifth place is not horrible. Fifth place for Laura, tenth place for Jamie. Would be okay, I guess. Go, Laura, go, go, go. Don't give up. No, her tires are horrible. Yeah, her tires are messed up. She's, <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Jamie ran out of fuel and <laughs> Laura, that sucked. <laughs> that was absolutely horrible. Uh, with about a half a lap to go, Laura's tires just absolutely took a dump and then Jamie ran out of fuel. So they both just gave up massive, massive positions. Oh, that was horrible. That was very disappointing. Oh, man. All right. Well, that kind of sucked, huh? <laughs> All right. So they finished in 12th and 13th. Laura went from 5th to 12th in a matter of, like, 20 in-game seconds. I mean, that was just disgusting. And that was my fault. 100% my fault. I thought she was going to make it, but she didn't. So Jamie's now in 7th, Laura is in ninth. Ah, no slack racing dropped further back. We were in 2nd just 2 weeks ago, or 2 races ago, now we're in 5th. But you know what, 5th place is still overall much better than what we anticipated us finishing. Should have probably went with that, uh, that lesser sponsor bonus, huh? Well, that sucks. Oh well, nothing we could do about that, I guess. I'm glad I got that frame rate issue though straightened out. Like, you know, compared to the last video, this one definitely is going to look much, much better. Um, definitely very, very smooth. Now let's check out the post-race team report. The driver form uh, much better than last race. Jamie's definitely looks much better than last race. I'm glad that their relationships with their mechanics are up there. Laura, for some reason, she's not really advancing. Even though she still has this half a star in potential, she's not really uh, improving. However, Jamie, at 22 years old, he is. Now, for some reason, he's all the way pretty much maxed out on his potential, yet he's still somehow improving. Anyways, expected results 9th. We still came in 8th. Even with the disappointing race, we still came in 8th. We lost $1.2 million, which is actually better than what we lost in the last race. I think we lost like $1.5 or $1.8 in the last race. So we're doing okay there. Now, pit crew. I don't want to hire any more pit crew. Um, let's make sure 11 race contract there. We have 11 races to go, right? That's contract remaining, six races. Kind of have to babysit these. Three races left to go there, 11 races. We want to babysit this because it costs a heck of a lot more to hire a new driver than it does, or a pit crew member, than it does to just renew their contract. So, you know, we only have one guy here um, expiring soon. But I think we're going to be okay. Let's do this interview. It's probably not going to be very pleasant. Uh, DeWolf's agent has been telling reporters all over town that you're interested in signing his client. You know what, DeWolf? Sure. Uh, he's an interesting driver. We may look into it one day. Uh, his morale went up, and that was that. Doesn't look like he has any more of a chance of signing with us or anything like that. But uh, anyways... Let's go ahead. Let's continue on. We're just going to simulate a little bit. We're going to fast forward. I want to get those contract offers up, and they're all here. So this is excellent. So slot three, upfront payment. Um, this is going to be for first place, first place, second or above. So you know what? I don't think we're going to be going for any of these anytime soon. So I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to take the highest upfront payment, which is this one here for $400,000. Uh, we are going to accept that one just because it is going to give us the $400,000. And then over here, what do we have? Um, we have a four-star sponsor, five hundred grand up front, and $400,000 per race. But that is over the course of 15 races, so that's pretty crazy. 13 races here, nothing up front, and 300000 and then this is nine races, and that gives us 400000 and 15. You know what? We're going to go with Corte, uh, Cortez. 
uh, tires because it is going to give us the highest up front and it also does give us 400 per race so that's excellent even though it is for 15 races you know what that's actually uh, probably going to help us out in the long term and you know what guys that is going to be it for this race uh, and for this episode hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, racing in Phoenix and the kind of like NASCAR style track now the rest of the races don't look anything like that the rest are essentially just kind of traditional uh, like what we've seen in the past. Uh, Tondela and Guildford are the only ones left. So we have two races left in this season. And then, uh, you know, to be determined. Not quite sure what route we're going to go. If we're going to just continue on over here in the um, in the Asia Pacific Super Cup. Or if maybe we're going to start off a new game. Uh, when I say new game, I mean, you know, we're going to still play Motorsport Manager. But we, uh, we might uh, use one of those mods that I've been talking about for the longest time. Or, I don't know, we might just uh, start off from scratch doing something completely different. Who knows? Anyways, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, do me a favor, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We hit 21,000 subs, and then I think like two or three days, we lost 21,000 subs. Uh, so, <laughs> I think right now we're sitting at like five subs less than 21,000. So, if we can get up to the 21,000, that would be awesome. Uh, get back to where we were just a few days ago Anyways, hopefully I'll start playing another uh, game on the channel here soon probably RimWorld. I've been looking at software Inc uh, It's to be determined. There's a few games that I haven't even touched yet um, There's one I don't remember what it's called Mars something like Mars colony or building on Mars or something like that You know possibility that I might play that game. I know a few other channels have already gotten into it looks pretty interesting but yeah, again, hit the like button, sub to the channel if you haven't already. I would appreciate it very, very much. And hopefully I'll see you guys on the next video. Until then, I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you later. Bye.